want to talk about how to uh, use something called FOIL to find the product of two binomials. So I have two binomials here. Uh, I have x plus 5 and x plus 8. And what I want to do is find and simplify the product. So I want to multiply those two guys together um, as indicated because they're right next to each other. Anything right next to a mathematical symbol that doesn't tell you what to do implies multiplication. So I want to take x plus 5, that whole quantity, times x plus 8. So now the way that I can remember how to do this is something called FOIL. And what this does is it reminds me how I can figure out what four terms I'm supposed to find. Okay, so when I'm doing this multiplication, I want to find these four products. The product of the first elements in each uh, binomial. So that would be x times x which would be x squared, okay? Then the product of the outside terms, so those are the two that are farthest from each other, which is x times eight, which would be eight x. Okay, then my inside terms, for the i, right? Uh, so that is the product of five times x, five times x is five x, and then finally, the product of my last two terms, that is a highlighter, I will have to use black. So the last terms are 5 and 8, so positive 5 times positive 8 is 40. So this product of x plus 5 times x plus 8 is these four guys. I've got x squared was my first. And then plus 8x, plus 5x, and then plus 40. Okay, since I took a binomial times a binomial, I should have gotten four terms, which we did. Okay, and the FOIL helped us remember what four terms those were. And now I've got an expression here, so I should really simplify it. Uh, notice that this and this are like terms. So this is really x squared plus let's see, plus 8x plus 5x is plus 13x plus 40. Okay, and it's worth noting, these two expressions give the same value for all values of x. For example, if x was 1, so if x equals 1, then x plus 5 times x plus 8 is 6, times 9, which is 54, x squared plus 13x plus 40 is 1 squared, which is 1, plus 13 times 1, which is 13, plus 40 is 1, 14, 54. Okay, now it'll work for every value of x because these are just two different ways of writing the same thing. So x plus 5 times x plus 8 and x squared plus 13x plus 40 different ways of writing the same guy. Okay, let's just do a couple more examples quickly. Uh, let's multiply 2x plus 8 times 3x minus 7. So, for my first times first, I'm going to have 2x times 3x, and I'll write that here. Okay, plus, and then I have O for outside, outside would be this guy and that guy. Note the sign on this term is negative, okay? So that's really 2x times negative seven. That was a bad seven, but negative seven. All right, plus now my inside guys are this eight times this three x, okay? And then finally, my last guys are eight times minus seven. Okay, again, watching that sign. So, now to just multiply, uh, 2x times 3x should be 6x squared, plus 2x times minus seven is negative 14x, okay, plus, 8 times 3x is 24x, All right? And 8 times negative 7 is negative 56. Okay, 
Looks like I've got a couple of like terms here. I've got 6x squared, but then I have this guy and this guy are like terms. So a negative 14x plus 24x would be positive 10x. And then at the end, I've just got minus 56 or plus a negative 56. Okay, one more example quick. I've got 6x minus 5 times 2x minus 9. Again, let's start with the first, first times first. So 6x times 2x. And as you get better with these, you can definitely just write down the four factors. Like you don't have to write down 6x times 2x. You can go straight to 12x squared if you want. Okay, so then outside my O, first times last. Notice this is 6x times negative 9. So 6x times negative 9 will be negative 54x. Okay, then I want my inside or inner terms would be negative 5 times 2x. So negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x. Okay, then I want my last guys would be negative 5 times negative 9. So negative 5 times negative 9 will be positive 45. Okay, so first, outside, inside, last. Again, I've got a couple of like terms. I have 12x squared, and then these guys are both the same. So a negative 54x plus a negative 10x should be a negative or minus 64x, and then plus 45 at the end. Okay, so there is using FOIL one of the ways we have available to multiply two binomials together.